to empty out our copper chloride solution here. And the way I'm going to do it here is I've got a five gallon bucket with a strainer here. Pull my air stone out. And this has a good number of boards in it. And hopefully, you can see at the bottom there, lots of gold foil. Got all the boards out. And I'll go over all this with water, knock any other foils off into the solution, but I'll do all that off camera. This container now has lots of foils in it. This is just distilled water. Actually, I need another. I need a filter. Honestly, I need to get a better, a better uh, container for this because it's going to be a little difficult to get all the foils out. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. Of course, this liquid will be mostly water. The rest of that I'm going to leave in there. That's all I'm leaving in the bottle, just a tiny little bit. Most of that looks like it's other components, just a couple little flakes of gold. Put my 
tires going back in here. Go back there again. So this is going to drain out, and I'm going to clean the uh, boards, get all, everything into the solution over here. Uh, then I'll filter that solution <coughs> into the strainer here. I may have to replace the strainer, um, but we'll get all the, the gold foils that we can out of it. Uh, and I'm going to, not sure where I'm, how I'm going to tackle this yet. I'm thinking of, well, I'll figure out what I'm doing here in just a few minutes. <clears throat> so we'll see how far along I get here. So I'll come back after I've done washing everything. Okay, so now I've got the, I've washed all the parts, all the boards and everything off. And you can see the gold that's down in my bucket here. I don't know if that comes through on the camera, but lots of gold foils down there. I've got them filtering out here into this container. And I've also got it filtering out down here into my uh, into my big container. So uh, we will continue filtering this out until we've gotten all the gold foils uh, separated. <coughs> And we will continue on from there but yeah I mean everything's running smoothly uh, just took a bit of time a little tedious work to uh, get all of the uh, to get all the foils washed off the parts probably made a little bit more work for myself than I needed to but you know all in all I, I've got a you know there's a good number of foils between these filters and what's left in the bucket here uh, so I'm I'm happy at the moment. I'll come back later. I'm going to try something stupid. So I've got all of the filters and everything from the gold recovery in a one kilogram crucible. And I put it in my little uh, furnace here. I'm going to heat it up to 100 degrees Celsius and let it cook off all the water. We'll let it do that for, I don't know, maybe a half hour or so once it's up to temperature. Um, then I'm going to take it up to 400, let it stabilize, and then I'll take it all the way up, uh, probably to 1,000, and then all the way up as high as it'll, uh, well, 400, probably all the way up to the, the top, which I think is a little over, it's like 1,100 uh, Celsius for this thing. If I'm right, the uh, and I'll add some borax at, uh, at some point. But if I'm right, any gold that's in there, uh, anything that's not gold should carbonize and float on top of the liquid gold. I'll add the borax, uh, and hopefully we'll get a gold button out of this. We'll see. It's just an experiment, me goofing around, seeing what I can do. There was not a lot of gold in here. Uh, I'm probably looking at maybe you know, two, three grams of gold tops. So we, we shall see what we get, if anything. But it'll be interesting if I can process it this way. Uh, again, this is not gonna be refined gold because all the gold that's in this stuff is an alloy. But you know, I, I just wanna see what I can get out of it. So. It'll be interesting. So maybe I'm screwing up everything. Who knows? We'll see.